Catanians, Catan Console Edition, The Helpers, and the all-new Season Pass is available right now on Xbox and PlayStation consoles. For those of you who don't know, The Helpers brings 12 new character cards to the game that bring an additional layer of strategy and fun to the base game of Catan. And we're going to get into some of The Helpers gameplay in just a second. But we want to talk about the Season Pass as well. The Season Pass is also out now, and that's going to get you instant access to the Helpers, but it's also going to get you access to three all-new content packs and Cities and Nights. The three content packs are Reap and Sow, which is the full content pack, Ice and Snow, the winter content pack, and Bloom and Grow, which is a spring content pack, with Cities and Nights rounding off the Season Pass. Just to be really clear, the three content packs and Cities and Nights aren't available right now, but you will gain instant access to them as and when they are released. What I also wanted to do is do a little bit of a comparison for you. I've done some maths, and trust me, maths is not my forte. So, the Season Pass right now is $29.99, $24.99 in pounds, and $29.99 in euros. So I'm going to do some comparison for you, but I'm going to keep it in dollars just so that we've got a fixed thing in mind. So if you were to buy the helpers as a standalone expansion for Catan, that would cost you $9.99. Cities and Nights, when it is released, will be $22.99. And then if you were to also buy all three of the seasonal content packs individually throughout the year, they would be $5.99 each. So the total for purchasing everything as an individual item would be $50.95. Is it cents in America? I think so. So this essentially means that by purchasing the season pass, you're actually making a saving of $20.96. So for those of you who are essentially mostly interested in Cities and Nights, for the sake of an extra $7, you would also get the helpers and all three of the seasonal content packs. So overall, the season pass is a really good way to get a wealth of content for an overall better price. But anyway, that is enough of the maths lesson. Let's get into some helpers gameplay. Okay, so here we are in the main menu. For the purpose of this game, we're going to play against the AI because traditionally, uh, whenever I try and play against humans online, I get absolutely owned and you are all way better than me, you amazing Catanians out there. So let's play against the AI, which let's be honest, gives me no better chance of being successful because I'm genuinely not that talented at the game. So everything looks pretty normal when you're in the actual initial phase of setting up a game here. So when you move on to the next screen, things start to look a little bit different. So you can see here, Variable setup is on. This is all looks pretty normal. We've got two new options here for you. So you've got the helpers and you've got the helpers variant. The helpers essentially will provide you with double the amount of helper cards than the number of people playing. So in this case, we'll have four players playing the game, um, which means we'll have eight helper cards um, available. Now in future, when we do bring the five to six player ex extension to the game, which is coming by the way, um, you would be able to have up to six players, which means you'd have 12 cards, five players, 10 cards, etc. Now, the variant of this is if you would like to be able to just have access to all 12 helper cards, you can toggle on the variant and you'd have all 12 to play with. But for the example of this game, um, we're going to stick to the um, base version of Catan Console Edition, The Helpers. So, without further ado, let's get into it and see how we do. So initial rolls, who's going to be going first? We had a tie, it looks. Between me and Gregor. And it's me. So, let's have a look. Um, what looks good, what doesn't look so good? It's actually not looking very good, generally speaking. <laughs> I think... A good starting point might actually be here near the middle. We've got eight on the wheat, five on sheep, and five on the ore tile here. Um, that's a good starting point. I'm not sure where I'd actually want to start heading towards. There's lots of sheep up there. I could maybe... And there's also the sheep um, port. I could really double down and niche 
into just sheep build and go from there. Um, but I think that's probably a good starting point. Uh, and we'll build up. Now, the other thing that uh, we've changed, actually, as part of this update is we've only not only bought uh, helpers content into the game, we've also bought some improvements and some changes to the game. So one of the things that um, we were hearing from the community is that at the start of the game, um, it would be nice to have to hold down A or X when choosing where you want to put your initial roads and settlements. So now that is the case. You have to hold down the button to confirm where you want to put your initial road and settlement. So that is now in the game. And you'll also probably notice already that uh, a lot of the audio has changed. Um, so it's uh, slightly less... Um, So that's the first helper card being assigned. Uh, now, you only get your helper card randomly assigned to you after you've placed your second settlement and road. So we'll find out what we're going to get in a minute, and I'll show you what it is. So yeah, anyway, the sounds. Um, make sure for road building. Yep. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little bit less... Uh, a little bit calmer. A little bit less jarring, maybe, to the ears. So my my plans here have been somewhat foiled. Um, I've been blocked by Gregor, um, the red above me, and Kaja has come up there as well and blocked me. So, in terms of where I would then want to go, in terms of what's going to work for me, I've got sheep, I've got ore, I've got wheat, I don't have wood, and I don't have stone. There's nowhere to get both of those things. So... Uh, but it would be useful to get at least one of those things because obviously early game, wood and uh, brick or clay are going to be really important to being able to just start building um, roads and then settlements. So, but where? Where could I get, get that? I've got, there's a brick tile here and a wood tile there, but on 11 and 12, so really quite sparse. Uh, and we've got 11s and 3s here which are still relatively unlikely to be rolled, but um, it does put us in a position where we're able to connect our roads together. Um, or the best opportunity for wood is here on this nine, but I can't connect it to uh, anything that's actually really going to get me much out of it uh, because Gregor has gone for the, the one there next to it. So... It's what I would define as a bit of a tricky one. We could go there and get benefit from if we do happen to roll a three. But, you know, I don't think that's going to be all that likely. Um, golly. Okay, so it's not the best play. It's not It's not what we love to see. But I think wood's going to be important. So I'm going to plonk this here. Uh, and I'm going to build up towards the clay on the ten. Uh Force trade. Okay, so that's the, that's the helper card I've been assigned uh, to kick this game off. We'll have a look at what that is now. So force trade is Asla's special ability. So choose one resource type and request it from up to two players, uh, one after the other. So for each resource received, you have to give back any one resource of your choice. So we're not going to use that yet because we don't really have any resources to give particularly. Um, but we are going first, so we're going to roll the dice and see... What happens? So we've rolled a six off the bat, which I think gives us absolutely nothing, uh, which is fine. Um, <laughs> Hilda gets to use their resource card, their help, helper card even, and they flipped it over so they get to use it again. So you have the option to use your helper card up to two times before then trading the helper card in for a different helper card. Or if you do want to, you can trade that helper card in after your first use if you don't think you're going to need to use it again for whatever reason. So the one that Yingvi's got uh, is really useful, actually. So the Yingvi helper card essentially means that you don't need to have wood and brick to be able to build a road. You only need to have one of either of them. And then you could substitute. So let's say you've got one wood, but you've got no clay or brick. You could use one wood, and then you could use a sheep, for example, to build a road. So that can be quite handy, actually. All right, we don't want to do force trade yet. Let's just roll the dice and see what's happening. 
So for those of you who are interested in finding out more about everything that's been going on with Catan Console Edition recently, with the release of the helpers and the season pass, you can head over to our website. There's a really good article on there that has all the details on everything that's been going on, all the helpers information, all the season pass information, pricing, um, what you can save by buying the season pass over buying you know, things individually, all that kind of good information is right there. And the link to find that is in the description below. So we've got two wood, one wheat, uh, not too much that we can do with that right now. So I'm just going to um, pass on this turn and see how things look when they come back around to us. I'm looking good for a development card right now. We could start doing that. It's a seven. I honestly don't really have too much of a game plan right now in terms of what I'm actually going to do. So that's obviously worrying. Although it looks like someone has traded in their... I think it's the Hogney card for something else. So it might be worth trying to get that because that allows me to move a road, um, which is super useful. So let's, um, let's do a force trade. So I can choose one resource type that I want from up to two people. Um, so what I need is some clay right now so I can build uh, a road. Uh, Carla's got the most. So let's see if she's got that. Doesn't have any. Okay. Gregor. And we failed. So we're just going to get rid of this card, I think. We're not going to use that again. Exchange it. We can flip it if we want to try it again. But Hogney, you may move, remove any of your roads um, and place them in another location. So I'll show you how that can, um, that can give you quite a unique situation um, that you wouldn't normally see in, in Catan. Um, and actually, you can see it right now. Someone's already had that card before previously so you can see this uh blue settlement here of Carla has no road attached to it and that's because that was probably one of their initial settlements that they built they decided that actually they would rather have their road somewhere else they picked it up using the Hogney card and plonked it somewhere else and that is the only time you'd ever see um a settlement without a road attached to it essentially so I don't think I can play that card until it's my next turn yeah exactly so I just picked it so I'm just gonna roll I rolled an 11, I think. And I can't do too much, but I can get a development card. So I'm going to do that. I've got my first night card. Uh, all good. End my turn there. You can see that the, the addition of having the helpers in the game adds uh, a very new element of the game to be considering. So, uh, one wood for one wee, sure. Um, obviously, these helpers are really beneficial for, for you, or for me in this case, playing the game, because I have the ability to do things that I wouldn't normally be able to do. But you also need to be aware that everybody else playing also has helper cards at all times, which means that you need to be not only considering how you're going to be best using the helper cards to your advantage, but keeping track of how they're using their helper cards to give them the advantage over you. So it adds um, just a lot of additional layers of strategic thinking, um, which is obviously something that I'm probably not that good at. Uh, so we'll see how I end up performing in this game. So they would like me to give them a sheep, and they're offering me a good deal, but I don't have any sheep to give, so unfortunately, that is a no. A no-go.
However, one wood for one wheat is good because I would maybe like to try and go for cities and um, development cards, possibly. So, yeah, I'm thinking about things. Uh, so let's play a card. Let's play my knight card. Um, so who's doing well? Blue has got lots going on. Carla. Let's block Carla's wheat development and we'll take some wheat while we're at it. Actually, we got some wood. Never mind. That's fine, though. Um, what I'm also going to do, I think, is I'm going to move the um, road that I've got in the middle there because I'm kind of hemmed in. Um, and I'm going to plonk it up on the edge of the island there. I'm still going to benefit from um, having that settlement there, but it's better for me to just be able to move that road and maybe I've got a secondary plan there to work my way around the edge of this island to get some clay uh, and work towards Longest Road. I'm going to keep that card. Oh, actually, I don't really need that card now because I don't think there's going to be another situation where I need to um, move a road, particularly. Um, so... Let's uh, let's do that because then I'm going to get some free resources and I'd like to get some ore. Lovely. Okay, um, let's roll the dice. Probably should have rolled the dice first, but here you are. Well, I can actually use Hilda right now to gain a resource. So what I would like is some ore, please. Thank you very much. I've used that once. I get to use that one more time. I'm going to flip it with A. Goes to the knight version of that card. And then um, I get to use that again in future. Let's do it again. Get another ore. Or we could go for a sheep. I think I'm going to get sheep. So let's just go for another ore. And we can, we're close to being able to upgrade to a city. That's the second time I've used that now. So I'm going to have to discard it. Um, so, take resource from the supply, match from the hex. That's, that's, or, I'm building a road. Yes, let's do that. Because right now I'm light on clay, but I am getting some wood coming in. So when building a road, I can substitute one lumber or one brick with any other one resource of your choice. So that's going to be kind of useful, probably, if I want to build some more roads. So let's go with that. They've got plenty of other stuff coming in. Um, nice. We're all pretty level right now. I am technically uh, losing, but I'm not too worried about losing it right now because we're in the early game. There's lots to think about, lots to do. Everything can change. Give one word. Yes, that's lovely. I uh, can't do that. Can't do that. So, um, remind me, I need one more ore. Let's roll. Maybe we get a five. We don't. That's okay. Let's see if we can do a straightforward trade here for this. Nice. Wait. Yeah, no, good. Okay, let's build a city. Let's build a city right there in the middle. That's going to really help with... We've got good odds here, so that should help us with our wheat, our sheep, and our ore production. And we're not losing anymore. 
I could even build a road with um, if I play makeshift road building, I can build a road with one wood and one wheat. So let's do that as well. And we'll go here. Thank you very much. Flip that over so we've got another use of that if we need it. And we're looking pretty good. Oh, this end my turn. Nice clean slate of zero resources. We are reliant on uh, rolling fives, eights, and I can't see it because it's right up on my screen. Fives and eights. Fives are really good for us, actually. I'm going to turn trading off for a little bit using the our L3 button, so pressing down on the left um, joystick will turn on or off, being able to accept or being involved in trades. My ore production has been blocked by the robber. That's kind of annoying. Roll the dice. Five. So that's blocked us annoyingly. We would have got two ore for that as well. It's six. I literally can't count. I can't count dice. I've got a problem. Annoyingly, Gregor has really interfered with my plan. Um, so they've, because I haven't been able to build a settlement up my side of the island there, um, they've prevented me from being able to build a settlement there, which has impeded me somewhat. I would, you know, probably my fault to be honest. I should have, um, I should have tried to get a settlement there earlier, but I didn't think that they would do me like that. I need to rethink. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Um, I guess I could keep building around there, but I don't really have the resources. Um, what's my card? Makeshift build, road building, yeah. Um, I'm not just going to keep going. This is just perilous for me right now. Gregor is flying with roads too. Move a road. Yes, in theory, I could move that road. But there isn't really anywhere for me to go with it either, so. Bad. It's honestly bad. What can I almost do? I can almost upgrade. If I could get. Um, let's see if we can get some trades going here. Okay, 
Okay, that's good. Can I get... And will anyone take this? Nice. Okay, Gregor, thank you. So that means we can upgrade this to a city. Um, that's something, at least. It's not what we want. Not the strategy we were hoping for. Uh, but it's something. Greg is still in the lead, but at least I'm, you know, joint second. I'm joint second, everybody. Where's Carla moving the road to? She's got longest road if she moves one of them. I think, right? Yeah, I think so. Didn't do that, so... Interesting. Six. So I'm really between the rock and a hard place right now. Can't do anything again. My five uh, sheep uh, hex right now is being blocked by the robber. I would have just got two sheep then as well, annoyingly, but that's an eight. That gets me two wheat. That's good. Is it an eight? Or can I not count? That's a seven. My God. Don't trust me to count dice ever. What I might do here is trade some ore for a wheat and get a development card, maybe? There we go. Well done, Carla. I'm definitely not going to get Longest Road. Nine, that's two wood, right? Is it nine? It's on my the robbers there. Heck. Okay, um or for wheat. Alright, well <laughs> that's that idea down the drain for the moment. Bad feeling this is going to be a bad game for me. I, I can see it going downhill really rapidly. Resources just are not coming in for me. That's good. Let me turn trading back on. Maybe I can get some wheat.
<laughs> I'm sorry, Carla. I can't give you what you want. Right. Um, what we're going to do here? Let's start with that. Build it. Get a development card. Another night card. Uh, if we can do that trade again, we can get another one. No, what about for a sheep? What about then uh, one of each? Do you think we can do that? It's probably not massively sensible, but we've got to make the players that work, right? No one can do that. Okay, fine. Um, I think that's us for the moment then. Eight, is it? Nice. It looks like we're going to be going quite hard right now on um, development cards. We can get two more. That's a long road. There's a clay shortage by lots of things. I've never had this few roads in the game, I think. This is crazy. This is what makes this game so interesting, is you constantly have to be thinking about what you can actually do. That's a seven, I'm screwed. Oh. A disaster. Carla. Um, just move the... Oh, just move the robber. Um... Where can I get some? That's gone so poorly. That's nice. We're not interested in roads. We're not interested in settlements. That's what we want. Cheap, wheat, and ore. And no sevens. Very importantly, no sevens. This is a strategy I've never really utilized before. I'm low-key excited about how this is going to go. Technically, I'm on five right now. I've got the monop the library card. Um, let's get... Okay, it's fine. More wheat. That's really good. Okay, 
Yeah, it's another knight. Um, I've played two, I think. Um, let's try and trade some wheat. What about two wheat? Okay. That means we can buy one more development card. Year of plenty. Okay. Um, you're planning to take any two resources from the bank. Yeah. We're on six, technically, right now. And then seven, eight, if we get that night card played. Um, okay, I think we're good for the moment. I just hope it's not too late with Carla. She's got nine resources. It's coming together though. Like, there is a plan. Wheels are in motion. It's not the plan I thought would be... Uh, not the way I thought this game would play out, but it's the way that things are evolving, you know? That five. Lovely. Lovely. That is lovely. Come on, Carla, don't do me in this turn. Seven? Is it a seven? Could it be a seven? I've got lots of cards again. Oh, no. Absolutely not, mate. Yes. Okay. Right. We've got largest army. That's six. Oh, what was that? Show of force. Okay. Oh, gain the largest army. Have I never done that before? I must have done that before. Right, now I've got a roll. If it's a seven, I'm in trouble. Oh, okay. Eight. That's lots of wheat. I, I could win. I could win now. I'm on six, seven, eight. I need... Okay, okay, okay. Wait, hang on. Did I? Oh no, it's fine. I thought I, I thought it ended my turn by accident. Six, seven, eight, nine. I need one more tonight. This is wild. Another night. <laughs> okay. Another night. Okay. Um. Let's use. Year of Plenty. Oh, I can't play more than one development card in any one turn. So I'm on nine. Oh, golly. Okay. Uh, I can't trade anything right now. I've never had this many development cards in my life. I'm excited. This is exciting. Carla could take this though, so that's scary, obviously. I've been robbed. No. I've got a hard zero resources right now. Go 
Come on, go away, Carla. Yes. I think we're going to do that. Nine. Oh, I've got two wood. Um, okay. Can I trade wood for sheep? I trade two wood for sheep. Yes, I can. All right, now I can build one more development card. Why one more development card? It's another night card. Um, you only play one, can't you? Oh no, my master plan. Yes, I, I need a settlement. I just need a settlement. Is there a limit to how many? I don't know if there's a limit to how many different kinds of, um, like market, chapel, library. I might have them all. How am I going to build a road and a settlement? What helper card have I got? Anyone remember? I certainly don't. Very worried about Carla right now. What have I got? Building a road. Okay, let's do that. Oh, I haven't got anything to substitute it with. Okay. Um, let's play a night card. Cheap is good. Let's roll with dice. Nine. That doesn't help me. Oh, it does. Okay. Let's play um, makeshift road building. Up there. And um... that and um for a settlement i need oof. that's gonna be tough going i think for right now um but we can try
That's a no-go by those things. Um, let's try two. Okay, so... I can't do anything right now. I will be able to build a settlement, but not right now. Um, so I need to try and survive another round. Seven. Everyone's safe. Oh no, Gregor's in trouble. Who have they blocked? They blocked me. They've blocked me on the five. Well, this is an intense game. This is not the game I was expecting. Three. That's wheat for me. That's good. I just need a sheep. I think I can win. The fact that Carla's not won it yet is blowing my mind a little bit. Please. Give me my go, please. Okay. Play another night card. Let's see if we can get a sheep. That's eight, right? Nine. Okay. Oof, God, I've got so much stuff. You know what? I think we're good. I think we can maritime trade for a sheep. Build a settlement. I did it! That is the first time on a stream or a pre-recorded video or any kind of video of me playing this game that I have successfully actually won a game of Catan Console Edition. And it was my first time achieving it playing the Helpers expansion. So, I mean, I can hear you all cheering. I hear everyone in the background celebrating and, and cheering me on. Thank you, everybody, for being here to witness my first victory on Catan Console Edition, the Helpers. It was such a close game. I've never had to play a strategy like that before. But the the flipping development card strategy came in top trumps for me. And I am victorious in my efforts. Well, thank you so much to everyone for tuning in and watching. If you did, we really appreciate it. If you want to know more about the helpers or the season pass... Click the link in the bio below and have a look at the article where you can find out everything about um, what all this stuff is, how much it costs, how much you can save. Um, and we'll see you on the island, Catanians. See you down the road. GG's, everybody.